Khan, Nichiwan and san here again, and today we're looking at the Sega Saturn. Um, yes, I've been working on quite a few Saturns, and you can sort of tell by the amount of stuff I've got about. Um, what I've been doing to this one, this is the third one I've got. Um, this is a Sega Saturn PAL Model 2 uh, edition. This is not in the best condition, it's cracked up here. There's no cartridge cover, but um, obviously it does still work fine. It work, plays CDs fine has no issues and everything just works fantastically and uh, yeah what I wanted to do was do a couple of um, modding bits of modding to it and what I've done is firstly I've got these two switches here this is your region and this is your 5060 so you can have it in 50 or 60 Hertz and then this will change your region from Japanese, American or European so essentially this negates the need for a mod chip. Yeah, it's a bit more physical work to actually change the switches, but on the other hand, you know, it'll play all region games, no issues. Um, the 50, the 50 hertz, the 60 hertz switch will um, also allow you to play games um, in the power region at full screen and uh, full speed, because you know about the power issue where you get a bit of a letterbox, um, it gets rid of these banding bits and also runs slower. This switch fixes that issue, means games run at full speed and a bit faster. So if you get any PAL, um, PAL, uh, what are they called? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? You get PAL optimized um, games, then it will uh, obviously interfere with those. But then you can just flick it off. Unfortunately, you'll lose the, uh, um, you'll lose the what's its name, the uh, uh, full screen. But oh well, and yeah. This has also, you might notice, a jammer port on the back of it, and this is almost fully functional. The only thing that doesn't work on this jammer harness is the input, but that will be sorted out in a couple of days. Um, this, and like I say, this is fully functional, it means you can plug in power, sound, video, and input, and it will work fine. Um, this is wired to midway standard, which means, um, although although it doesn't need the minus 5 volt, it's got um, 5 volt, 12 volt, and ground wired up. And what it also has, um, what it also has is uh, the oh sorry I'm, I'm lost for words today. The it has the sound um, actually amplified, so you don't need a separate amplifier. You can plug this in and it will just work perfectly. There is a slight issue with the sound. I think there's a little bit of crackling or popping, but it, I actually don't hear it so much now. It was really noticeable when the case was open, but not so much now. Um, but yeah. That works. It's got RGBS uh, output, so it's no, it will work on any monitor. The monitor will be a bit dark at the moment, and I'm going to correct this with a couple of capacitors in the uh, in a future uh, revision. But for now, it hasn't. And uh, yeah, here's the uh, sound part as well. Well, this will actually adjust the Saturn's output volume. So if you if you've got your own cab's volume, if you just want to adjust the sound volume, you can do that. Um, this is stereo, and like I say, it's wide to midway standard, so you've got uh, pin 10 is your left and pin 11 is your right. Um, it doesn't matter which way around the speakers are wired, it works fine. Um, so it's essentially fully wired, so you don't need the AV port and you don't need the um, uh, AC in the port connected. There are a couple of downsides. Uh, one, there is no cartridge slot anymore, and two, there's no VCD cartridge slot, and yeah, I mean, for some stuff this might be a bit of a problem, but the majority of things, like 90% of things, you won't need to not worry about this. But yeah, I thought I'd show you it actually working, because obviously this isn't going to turn on right now, but it's got a power supply wired in. This is just a standard PC power supply, but it works fine on this uh, console. Um, yeah, so what I'll do in future revisions is make it so the video is brighter obviously and secondly I'd also make it so that the um, uh, controllers are fully wired um, at the moment you still have to plug in a uh, uh, Sega Saturn pad um, but in future if it detects you're, you're running the jammer harness it will immediately simulate two controllers being connected and it will connect it up to the jammer harness and um, what I mean by simulating is that when you plug in the jammer harness it will detect that there's power and it will uh, take control of the Saturn's control ports. This does mean if you do plug in anything else into these front ports they won't work or they'll work as a standard um, six button pad. So you could just use a six button pad still but um, you know it kind of negates the point. Um, 
doesn't make an issue when you're not in that mode in um doesn't make an issue when you're not in uh, um jammer mode because the input circuitry will be disabled but obviously in um um if you are in your jammer cab that will might be an issue but again I'm up to uh, suggestions, so if you've got an idea how to fix that, let me know. But yeah, how to show you it quickly working. You see it's turned on as soon as it's turned on the power supply. It is a bit dark on the screen, like I say, because this... Okay, this is a SCART TV, but this is simulating a RGB monitor, um, because it's actually running darker. Um, if you... The, the camera's actually making it brighter, so... And like I say, controls aren't working, so the pad still has to be used. Um, and yeah, just thought I'd show you it quickly working, and you can see it's reading uh, Sonic Jam perfectly fine, no errors at all. Um, and you see there, Sonic Jam. It's actually running in 50, 50 hertz, 60 hertz, I believe, because it's reading almost the entirety of this monitor. And yeah, another way I can show you is a little trick I learned by accident. Oh, <laughs> it's playing Sonic Jam. Um, basically, if you hold down the shoulder button when you turn on the Saturn, it will actually go into the settings mode. So if I could do that, hold it down, go into Sega Saturn, and then memory. I don't know why that happens, but anyway. So currently, you can see it's set to NTSC C. NTSC means it's 50, it's 60 hertz. If it was 50 hertz, it'd be PAL. C means it's in the PAL region, and obviously, if I wanted to go say, let's go, I wanted. Japanese, I just do that, hold down Z to show you, turn it back on, go into Sega Saturn, some menu, and there you go, NTSC 1, which means it's in Japanese mode, and a second uh, form of proof, Japanese, yeah, Japanese, yeah, Japanese is the uh, uh, first language selection, uh, sorry, in uh, any other mode, English would be the first selection, but yeah, so this would be a fully jammer compatible system that you plug in and it would play whatever game is in the D CD drive and it doesn't matter what game you're putting in because you can change the region switches and obviously if you don't want it too loud you can turn it down um, it's a shame that this isn't modded as in it will play any game, it will only play official games but I'm just doing this um, as much as I can do when I don't have a uh, Sega Saturn mod chip. But yeah, I thought I'd show you um, what I've been up to and what will probably be for sale at some point in the future. Um, like I say, this is an early revision. This is just um, a basic setup. It doesn't do input yet. Um, there is a slight bit of issue with the sound, but again, I can't hear it usually, but you might hear that. Um, it might irritate some of you. Um, a couple of other things I've got to mention is, um, like I say, video is a bit of an issue, but again, not a huge issue when, I'll be, when I'm done with it. Um, the jammer port is backwards. Uh, usually this end would be power. It's over this end. You can tell due to the fact that the uh, two ports are joined up here, and there's a uh, pseudo key. Um, I haven't actually cut out a slit there, but... Um, that basically is a little inform. It's a like it's like a key, but a visual key it doesn't actually stop you from putting it on backwards. So, um, yeah, there is a couple of issues, but it's nothing I can't address. And anyway, uh, like I say, I thought I'd show you what I'm up to, and um, like I say, what I'll probably be selling in future. So, uh, thank you for watching.